Now we'll discuss about the anatomy of the clavicle. This is clavicle. This is this bone is clavicle. It has two ends. This is medial end. This is lateral end. And this is shaft. And you can see this shaft is a curved shaft. It is not a straight shaft. And this is only long bone which lies horizontally in body. The term clavicle means key. It is like a key. It rotates like a key during abduction. So it has two ends. So this is medial end, this is lateral end, and this is shaft. This is shaft. This is superior view. If you see from inferior side, then you will find This is inferior. This is superior to this is inferior. This is superior and this is inferior. This lateral part, this shaft has two parts, lateral part and medial part. This lateral one third part is concave anterior. This is concave anterior. And this is medial two third part, which is convex anterior. This, is, this part is convex anterior. So here is junction of the medial two third and lateral one third. This part is anteriorly concave, this part is anteriorly convex. This lateral part has two surfaces, it's flat. This lateral part is flat and it has two surfaces. This is superior surface and this is inferior surface. Superior surface is smooth, it is subcutaneous, and inferior surface has two one ridge and one tubercle. Inferior surface. This is inferior surface. Here one ridge is present. This is trapezoid ridge. This is trapezoid ridge. And here is tubercle. This is conoid tubercle. This is the ridge, to the dry ridge and conoid tubercle. If you see medial part, medial two third part, this is medial two third part, it has anterior surface, this is anterior surface, this is superior surface, posterior surface, and inferior surface. It has four surfaces. This is superior surface, this is inferior surface, and this is here the anterior and this is posterior surface. The superior surface is subcutaneous and it is smooth, and inferior surface, inferior surface here you can see in lateral part there is a groove. This inferior surface, in lateral part there is groove. This groove is known as subclavius groove. This is sub. subclavius groove and here there is a rough area this area attached with first costal cartilage and here costal clavicular joint is formed Here is position.
equation of nutrient foramen. This is nutrient foramen, and direction of the foramen is left side. That's why its median end is growing end. Now attachments. Here you can see the attachment of the fibrous capsule on the medial side. There is attachment of the fibrous capsule along the margin, and here the joint is formed between clavicle and mandibular. This is this is my video clavicular joint and here articular disc is also present and here some ligaments interclavicular ligament is attached interclavicular ligament is attached. And here is position of origin of the pectoris major muscle. This is size of origin of pectoris major muscle. And here is origin of this is ventricular head. Of sternocleidomastoid, sternocleidomastoid. So it takes origin from here. And here is origin of dendrite muscle. This is origin of dendrite muscle. And here is insertion of this is side of insertion of trapezius muscle. This is insertion of trapezius muscle. And here is also insertion of an inferior side. This is insertion of subclavius muscle. This is subclavian groove, and here subclavius muscle is inside. Here. And here is plain pectoral fascia which attached to the margin of this groove. This is plain pectoral fascia. And here, this is costoclavicular joint. Here, costoclavicular ligament is attached. This is costoclavicular ligament. And here, you can see this is trapezoid ridge and coronal tubercle. And here, This is clearly coraco calibral ligament. This is coraco calibral ligament. Ligament attached in these structures. It has two, this ligament has two parts. Trapezoid part attached with the trapezoid ridge and conoid part attached with the conoid And here this is have a step tool through which it articulates with the acromial process, acromial process of the scapula and form the acromioclavicular joint. Here, acromioclavicular joint is formed, and here is joint capsule. This, this muscle is also extended from the into the inferior side, that's why the body attached here, and trapezoid, uh, uh, trapezius muscle is also attached here. So these are the attachments and the clavicle. Here, let's see. This is 
this is medial end which is quadrilateral attached with the manubrium lateral end is flat and is attached with the acromial process of scapula and this is medial two third part is convex anteriorly and lateral one third part is concave anteriorly and on the pia surface this is subclavian groove and trapezoid ridge and cone tubercle is present by this point you can identify its side now another thing ossification there is two center of ossification is primary center of ossification appears during hip and six week of entire life hip six week of entire life right and this is a uh, only this is lamp bone where this is first lamp bone where ossification starts this is lamp bone where first ossification starts this is during fifth and sixth week of intertwining life and it fused about 24 45 50 today this is primary center and here is secondary center appears here which appears around 15 to 17 years and fused around 21 to 23 years of life and this part from here to here it develops in the membrane and this medial most part develops from the cartilage so this is only lamp bone which develops in membrane this is only lamp bone which has two primary centers of the ossificative center and sometimes this is this bone is pierced by medial supraclavicular nerve this is medial supraclavicular nerve here lateral and medial supraclavicular nerve cross this bone and this sometimes this nerve pierces and here is junction this is junction of the lateral one third and medial two third there is junction of the two curvatures so that's why this is the weakest point of the bone and most common site of the fracture of this bone is here at junction of the medial two third and lateral one third so this is all about the clavicle thank you